All right, we're going to take a look at how to get into Flipgrid on a Mac user. So in Mac, I am on um, Google Classroom. I've signed in. I can see right here, presentation recording for Flipgrid. Uh, one important thing for the Mac users, you need to be on Microsoft Edge. So up here in the upper left-hand corner, you need to make sure you're in the browser Microsoft Edge in order for this to work. You're going to click on the Flipgrid link, and it's going to open up a window that looks like this. And when you're in here in your topic, right down here, there is add a video in the lower left-hand corner. Hello, I am, and you're gonna add a video. So click add a video. And when this window pops up, we are going to see a picture of yourself. Now, when we click the option button and we're gonna record screen, it's gonna ask me if I wanna start recording. And yes, I do. And I'm going to choose the entire screen. So I'm going to, I got to click right here in order for the share button to pop up. And when I click share, you'll notice that a couple things might happen is one, uh, it might start recording, which it has, and we don't see our image down here in the bottom. So I'm going to need to try to do this again. So I'm going to hit stop recording. And I'm going to close this Things might happen is one. Uh, and I deleted, I confirmed I wanted to delete it. So now I'm going to do it again. Now it, you can see the button looks a little different here. That's fine, click add response. And we're going to try this again, same process. It's gonna open up. I'm gonna hit the option button right here on the window and record screen. And I'm gonna hit start screen. I'm gonna choose right here in the middle again. And then my button turns blue and I'm gonna share. And hopefully it pops up this time, which it does not look like it has. So I'm gonna stop recording again and close this it. time. Close that window and confirm it. And try one more time here. We'll see if this pops open. And you can see on the third try here, my uh, picture did open up. And so once my picture opens up, then I can come up here to my presentation and I can use my presentation and thumb through. So if I'm gonna have my video on, I'm going to be recording as I go through my presentation. I do not want to hit present right here. If you go into full screen, it's going to remove your picture from down here at the bottom. And we, we want to see your picture, your face as you're presenting to us and going through this and moving around. So you're going to be in creator mode here where you can see all these tabs. So things like animations to flip the pages, things like that aren't going to work. You're simply going to start here and use your arrow keys and you can go through your different tabs. Okay. So that's how you're going to have to do that. Try it two or three times uh, to see if your picture popped up. Three seems to be the magical way to do it there in order to get that video to pop up. You're then going to record your video. And when you're done, you can see right here, Flipgrid is um, using your screen. You can stop sharing. Uh, to do that. Now, if you're in full screen mode, then you would want to hide this while presenting so that you don't um, see this on your screen. But that's fine if it's there. A uh, picture did open up. And so once my picture opens up. All right. So you have the ability to crop a little bit. You can cut some off the front. You can take some off the back. You can add some. A in certain, uh, picture did open up in certain places. And when you're done, you can see some of that there has been cut off the front. I can move the timer. I can say, I don't want the first five seconds. It was me opening. And so again, you do want to have um, no background noise as you're recording. So don't have the radio playing, don't have a fan blowing in your face and make sure you're somewhere quiet. Um, and when you're all done recording and it sounds good and looks good, no background noise, uh, then you can confirm and this will upload it. Now, don't do this until you, you know, maybe two or three takes in, maybe takes a couple chances. Uh, you have the time here to get this uh, adequate and uh, done nice and uh, to meet the requirements. So when I'm done, I'm going to hit confirm. Here to my It'll let you see the final cut after you cut things off and trimmed it. And then you're going to hit next and it's going to ask you for sure. You want to submit your video. What's your name? Um, your last chance to edit the video. And when you're done, you're going to hit submit. And it's going to tell you you're uploading. Do not leave this page until your video has uploaded all the way. Otherwise, it will not upload. So wait for it to upload. And then you should get a confirmation that it's done. 
and that that point you are done recording your video. So good luck in recording your video. Um, hopefully this makes sense. If you need help, please do not hesitate to contact me.